Yesterday we talked about how to let your light shine. You let your light shine by doing good deeds, by loving the people around you, not by being nice, not by following rules, but by loving. Today we talk about why we let our light shine. Jesus says in Matthew 5, In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. See, this is the end game. This is why we do good deeds. This is why we shine. Not so that we look good. Not even so that our church looks good. But so that we get the opportunity, the hearing, to share Jesus. If you're a jerk and you say, I want to tell you about Jesus, ain't no one going to listen. The best thing that will happen out of that is that you make Jesus look like a jerk. Well done. But on the other hand, if you love, if you spend time with people, and you listen to them, and you say, can I explain to you something about something that's really important in my life? They're much more likely to listen to you and say, okay. And then you get the chance to share Jesus. And then they are able to praise our Heavenly Father because now they get to know Jesus. See, this is why we shine. Not to point to us, but to point to Jesus. We love because Jesus first loved us. Because he came to us and said, yes, I know your sin, I know your shame, I know everything you've hidden. I love you anyway. And I rescue you, and I gladly pay the price. And we are blown away by that love. And then Jesus says, and now you get to share that love with others. You get to be a reflection of me, and in reflecting me, you get to point people back to me. And so, shine. Let your deeds be known. Not, not to be a jerk, not to be pompous, don't do that. But as an opportunity then to share Jesus. Shine.